These diamondback moths have been reared in a laboratory in Oxfordshire, but soon their offspring will be released thousands of miles away in a test field in New York State as part of a drive to tackle one of the world's most damaging agricultural pests. It's a very notorious pest for developing resistance to most of the insecticides that are used against it. And so we are interested in looking at new ways of trying to control it. These moths may be relatively tiny, but their caterpillars can strip a farmer's field of its crops in a matter of days, and they cause billions of dollars worth of damage to crops globally every year. The genetically modified moths carry a gene that prevents the female offspring from surviving. If we release um, our male moths um, over a sustained period of time, um, they'll go out there and mate with uh, wild pest females um, and their female offspring won't survive. And if you keep releasing for enough time, then the population should, should reduce. The modified moths have been programmed to have a fluorescent marker, enabling the scientists to keep track of their behaviour. It's not the first time Oxitec have genetically engineered insects to tackle global problems. Their GM mosquitoes are being used across Brazil to help control the Zika virus. If the diamondback moth tests are a success, in a few years' time, farmers may be able to buy their own genetically modified insects to help protect their crops and the economy. Angela Walker, BBC South Today.